back to my channel. It's Amanda. For today's video, we're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be showing you what is in my gym bag. Um, I'm wanting to do like a whole Fitness Friday thing, um, Fitness Friday type of series thing, like, because fitness has become like a huge part of my life, and I'm wanting to kind of get into that too. So maybe like on the Fridays, whatever, if there's videos that you'd like for me to do, like my routines, like ab, ab workouts, booty workouts, and my leg days, arms, my arms are kind of like, ashamed. I'm ashamed of my arms, they're not even really back, stuff like that. Um, and then any other questions that you have regarding anything fitness health related, um, those probably be on Fridays, maybe. If I can get them uploaded on Fridays, but I would like to do the Fitness Friday thing. But I figured to start off this whole little series that I'm wanting to do, um, it's not like I came up with Fitness Friday. Somebody I've um, heard it multiple times. But um, to start it off, I figured why not show you what's in my gym bag? Because a lot of people, their gym bags are completely different. Because not everybody does the same thing. Um, I do lifting and um, like not really cardio stuff. So I do more strength training and all that muscles and stuff like that <laughs> make any sense I don't know I'm like tired and I'm hungry and I'm burnt I'm burnt you can see the red yeah tanning bed was not my friend today I figured why not because I just got this gym bag like a week ago so I transferred everything that I used from my old gym bag into this one I used an adidas gym bag it was like black and pink or something like that I had it forever ago when I was in dance in high school um so I updated and got a new one I love this one it's so bright like this neon yellow it's just like so I was debating between getting this one and um the gray and black one but I just liked the bright color of this one it is the under armor hold on Keep a little tag back here because I knew that was going to do video. This is the Under Armour Arm, Armour Undeniable Shelf Duff. This is the Under Armour Undeniable Duffel. It's the medium sized one. Lightweight, durable, water resistant. The Storm Series. I get all this so you can see. It does come in a small, medium, and large. Um sizing I had to get the medium because the other one that I had was like maybe a few inches length wise it was smaller um than the one I have now so I was like I might as well just get a bigger one because I'd rather have um a little extra space than not enough space I love it um it's got the little thing right here if you want to snap it carry it with your hand and it's also got the cross body pad right here which is the thing that I use I just carry it on one shoulder down I don't put it like across my body but it comes with three compartment type of things it's well four it's got this little mesh thing right here so you can put something in I usually will uh, put my keys in here and um, money or something like that that I'm going to pay to get into it to get into the gym I'll put it just right in there that way I can just slip it right out and pay them whenever I get to the front desk I put my keys in here and my phone then it's got this huge front zipper here and in here I keep a headband just in case I need it I typically don't wear one but if I um, feel like my hair is just really getting on my nerves and I need it out of my face completely then I'll put that on um, headphones these are just from my iPhone 5 um, that I had these are the older ones um, I like the no were these the iPhone these are from the iPhone 4 that I had but um, the iPhone 6 ones that I have, I keep them here and I like to use them. Those are a little older so if they get damaged at the gym or lose them or something, I'm fine with that. I'll just get another pair. But I like the other kinds, the way that they fit in my ears. So I just like them better. I want to get the Beats Solo 2, I think it is. It's the wireless one so you can hook it up to your, well, connect it to your phone or anything like that. That way I can play my music, like have my phone. I'm just like sitting there with my water bottle. Or um, in my bag playing music and my headphones are here. I don't have to deal with a cord or anything like that. Um, I kind of want to get those. And if you have those, let me know if you recommend them. 
anything like that because I really want to get the wireless ones if I do because I don't want to have to deal with the cord if I do I'm just going to use these there ain't going to be no point in me spending the money to get them I want the wireless ones and then I keep my knee band strap thing um, I have damaged my knee I'm um, in the process of getting tested on the doctors to figure out what's wrong with it well them one of them's, my right one's worse than my left one so I'll wear this one on that usually when I go to the gym if I'm doing anything that requires really if I'm like working any lower body type of thing because then my knee will start to hurt so then I'll just put this on so that way it doesn't it relieves a lot of the tension and pain and if the lights keep going up and down I apologize it's that time of the day whenever the sun just wants to do what it wants to do and on the side it's got another compartment this is this is what um, kind of drew me to this type of bag, or this bag, um, because it's got its own compartment for your shoes. That way, you know, you're sweating, you're getting, like, your feet are stinking because you're going to the gym and you're sweating. So you don't want your whole bag, and if you bring clothes, you don't want any of it to smell like your shoes. And if you get them, if you go hiking or something like that, you put them back in here, you don't want to get them dirty. You get the whole, everything on the inside of your bag dirty. So I do like it. That it's got that right there for your shoes so I do keep a pair in there they're just <clears throat> these Nike Air Maxes or Max Airs whatever they are um, I don't use these on like cardio running days because of the heel that's got on it it kind of just hurts my feet and it just hurts and you don't really need to run in anything like that anyway. so the shoes that I use for running and that I use basically every time I'll use those like you know Sometime during like leg days, it's good for squats and stuff because it gives you that little boost that so helps you come back up during your squat. But typically, I will wear these. They're a little dirty because I did use them for hiking before, but I haven't just been, you know, too lazy to actually like bleach the bottom of them. But these are the Nike Free 5.0s. Absolutely love them. They're just plain black and white. Love them. I typically wear those to the gym. And if I don't, and it's like I'm wearing something else and I'm going there and changing, I will put them. In with those two, I want to snug them in there because you this right here is made for one pair of the shoes, but you know, I just snug them in there, anyways. Now, on to the big compartment, it does have like this little zipper thing right here, and um, I don't have anything in there right now. I used to, and my other one had the same thing. I'd keep a bounce sheet in there because I put my shoes in there, so I didn't want it to stink and um, smell like feet. So, I kept a bounce sheet in there. I haven't had to with this one because my shoes have their own little compartment. So if you want to put your phone or your keys or anything in here, you can do that. Just like, and also for girls like me, typically I wear like certain jewelry or rings or something like that, and you forget or my watch, um, and I forget to uh, take them off, and I get to the gym. Perfect little pouch to put your jewelry into them. Uh, first on the top, this is my prescribed medication for my back because I do have medical problems with my back. So typically, like, you know, squatting, doing intense lifting and stuff like that can damage my back even more than what it already is. So if I feel like a little bit of pain that day or after the gym or during the gym, I have this with me. And I also have another little bottle on the inside that's got um, Tylenol. Because you never know when your friend would need a Tylenol or you need Tylenol. So I just have both of them for if I need either or. Um, blender bottle, of course, necessity for me. Um, I used to either have one or two in here, depending upon the day, if I take a protein powder with me and want to drink it or not. But typically, I kind of like to have multiple ones for each one. Um, I like to use this one because it, I don't know, just because I like the blue. I don't know why this smell that way. But um, I use one for my pre work I use one for my pre-workout, but I'm planning on getting the smaller one. I think it's about this size of the blender bottle. Um, I think it's a 12 ounce. 12 ounce or 14 ounce or something like that. I don't know. Um, for my pre-workout because I don't use this whole thing and fill it up. I mean, I use probably like that much of it. Um, just so it's in there and I drink it and get it done. So I want to get a little blender bottle or one or two of them, three of them, whatever, for my pre-workouts. And then keep these for my protein shakes 
in other shakes and waters and stuff like that. So I usually will have one for that um, and if I do have a protein shake that day, well if I'm going to drink one right after the gym, then I will take another one with me for that. And then to go with that, there's this thing I just got, um, I think I got this like maybe two weeks ago. This thing is awesome. It is from the same blender bottle company. It's called the Ghost Stack. I got it in this really pretty color. This is my favorite color. If they had the bag in this color, then it would have been awesome. It's just got this little thing that way if you want to attach it to something or don't want to lose it. Um, it does come with four. I don't use the bottom one currently for anything when it's like this big. But this is awesome because this first little one up here, I put all of my vinyl vitamins, fish oils, biotin, all kinds of the vitamins and stuff that I take. Um, and then the second one right here, I will put my pre-workout powder. And then this one, this is my protein powder. So I usually just have like a crap ton of drinks and stuff with me. I usually do have a Gatorade with me. This is the smaller one. I don't know why it doesn't have a thing on top of it. I mean, well, the wrapping thing around it. But I usually will take a small one just because I don't want to take in. I don't like, mostly I drink water, Gatorade and some juice and stuff like that. But I take this usually because I get, um, even if I've ate and stuff, I still feel like I get like kind of lightheaded, like I'm weak um, throughout the days or if I'm going to the gym or something like that. It's just like random, feels like it. It doesn't have to be at the gym. I do it here at the house too, but I take a Gatorade with me. That way if I'm feeling weak, I drink it and I feel much better. I guess the electrolytes and the sugar and stuff in it just make me feel a whole lot better. I just keep a little Gatorade with me because I don't drink a big Gatorade. I don't feel the need because I drink water and stuff like that. I just have a little one. Um, I do like the G series. I don't like the G2. I don't know. I just don't like the taste of the G2. So these are just the regular G series kind. I usually have fruit punch, orange, or cool blue. The next is water. I usually have two, two to three like water bottles me for that way I can refill my water bottle because I don't like fountain water stuff like that I just think it tastes gross have that that way I can also stay hydrated throughout the gym too because I do bring my water bottle it's empty right now except for a little bit you know because I kind of went to the gym just yesterday I didn't go today I just done booty and ab stuff here at the house so I just went to the gym yesterday and this is empty so this has 32 ounces it's contingo i got it from walmart um i fill this all the way up and then i also take two or three bottles of water just to refill it and so i'll drink basically i'll drink a whole one of these at the gym and then i'll refill it with one and then i have another water before i go to the gym and after i go to the gym so just have to have your water bottle the next thing I have just is these two little pouchy things. Just because I like to stay a little bit more organized within my bag. Um, so I keep one for toiletries. Like if I want to shower there at the gym. And then just like little stuff that I may need like for emergencies. And then this one I have like food. Type, what actually is food. But um, things that I may need. Um, I have an energy bar. This is the Cliff Bar. The white chocolate macadamia nut. My favorite Cliff Bar. Well of that kind. Then I have one in a chocolate brownie. I haven't tried this one yet. I have a Luna Home Nutrition Bar, Women's Nutrition Bar. This is the chocolate dipped coconut. Just if I want a nutrition bar. And then if I just want a protein bar to snack on before, after, during, something like that. I usually will have an energy bar if I start feeling like really hungry at the gym. So this is the Cliff Builders 20 grams of protein. It's a protein bar. This is the chocolate mint. Favorite protein bar by far. Absolutely love this thing. The last is my little toiletries. Um, I just keep basics in here. I have deodorant. I have baby powder because I don't do, use dry shampoo. So if my hair is oily right after the gym and I don't want to wash it at the gym, then I have baby powder. I have body wash shampoo and conditioner like the little travel sizes like this this is my body wash then i have those same little containers i've got my face wash or face cleanser um shampoo conditioner 
I have a body mist um the tampons you never know because my friend has we got there and then you know boom she needed one and then you never know I may need one someone may need one and then I have some hair ties and some bobby pins it's everything in my gym bag oh hello vehicles um, I don't really keep like a lot a lot um, I usually wear the clothes that I'm going to wear there if not and I know that I'm not uh, wearing them there and I have to go somewhere and then I'm going to go to the gym I'm just going to put the gym outfit that I'm going to wear into the bag but typically I come home get my stuff and then uh, change and go to the gym you keep really in there is extra socks you know you may with my shoes but that's everything that I keep in my gym bag. Um, I want to know what you all keep in your gym bag. Like, what do you go to the gym for? Like, I go for lifting and strength and stuff like that. Um, let me know, like, what you go to the gym for and, like, your favorite workouts. I also really, really want to know what you keep in your gym bag. That, I think it's really interesting. I just like it. And it's like, I love watching my, what is in my purse videos. And I love, I've been watching a crap ton, like, the past month. And some of what's in my gym bags what's in my gym bag um so it inspired me to with my first that with these series that I'm going to do um to go ahead and film a gym bag because I like to see because it's different for everybody girls guys depending on what you do it's different for everyone so that is all of what's in my gym bag so I hope that you all enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more fitness videos and give this video a thumbs up and um, also comment below if, like you want any specific videos that you would like for me to do whether it be like health related fitness related anything along that nature um also i haven't really used it in a while but i'm going to start um very soon again because i haven't like a while and i rarely post on there is my fitness instagram i'm going to really start um keeping up with it and on there so i'll have that link down below so that way you can follow it um keep up with me in my whole fitness life type of thing so I'm going to um do, 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 do. using that again and um, so I have that link down below it is just um beauty with two eyes goes beast so beauty goes beast I have the beauty from blonde beauty with the two eyes so I just put that in there and I went hand in hand but before this video gets really 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 long because I'm pretty sure it's almost a 20 minute video I'm just gonna go ahead and just end it and um, hope you all have a great day and stay motivated if you think that you're not like you just like have no motivation to go to the gym just like just know if it's something that you really really want to do just work for it it takes time and progress to actually get used to uh, the idea of working out every day or almost every day um it is a slow slow process don't just jump right everything into it and um, you have to do gradual over time nothing no progress with your body is made overnight it takes a very long time um you just have to be patient and motivated with it and just keep it up i know there's multiple times when i've just stopped and i've slumped i'm just like this is going nowhere i'm not seeing any results but it's like once you set your mind that you're going to do it and you want to do it and you want that body that like you have in your head you're gonna do it then it's just like nothing stopping you and you're just gonna go for it and you're gonna work out and you're gonna try your hardest to push your body to your limit until you get the results that you want and to me i'm still probably never gonna be happy whenever i get to that point but that's the thing that you get when you start going to the gym and you start lifting you're never never gonna be happy never gonna be happy a lot of people are though but you have to just me i'll probably just keep pushing and pushing myself you know just to keep myself going further i don't know i'm just rambling um but i hope you all enjoyed I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in our next Fitness Friday video. Bye everyone.